I don't know if he's solo or duo, but he's definitely a long range shooter. Yeah, he got me from 120 something meters. Yeah, I saw him. Saw him with the scope. Do me to extract or get go. Yeah, Just go for it, man. We know he's going to be watching. Have you got shot in the back from half a kilometer now? Yep. <laughs> Thing is, you never know if that guy's like a solo or a duo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but if he's going to come for me, he's not going to not pick up that bounty, is he? He's going to grab the bounty and then head towards me. But I've left him a reason not to. Well, you never know. Don't see anything. Guy following southeast, and you got dogs and zombies in the way. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh, you scumbag counter! Stepped outside of the range of the counter. Oh, I got two on me, dude. Yeah. I bet that was the guys who killed me. I got three coming. Wish I had choke bombs right now. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> There's three coming in. I'd have been out of there if it wasn't for the scumbag counter. Because you can't see yeah. where the radius is. I stepped to the right and it went, oh, you're out. <laughs> the first bit is all one of them had to do was like, they set the horses off. So they're like within a 25 meter range. He just had to keep running and it would have stopped the countdown. <laughs> Dan Rover, thank you for 34. Three though, that's interesting. That means there's like a two and a one or something. Yeah. Like we're not fighting three, so... That's two teams. I wonder if they knew about each other. One had a well, one had picked up the bounty. Yeah. Oh, that kill though! If you didn't see that kill, you should I, watch well, it. I did. I got the stream on my other screen. Dude, it was amazing. That was brilliant. It was just the. the it was just his teammate. He just turned around and went, "Huh?" And went, "Oh." <laughs> Boom, and then his body just went flying.
Why did they get rid of the sell all button? It's a stupid decision. I know and I agree. Oh, nobody uses that, really? There's variations of it, Trucker J. There's, um, there's one with a, a woman who kind of does it in a haunting melody. At Christmas, I love the Christmas version of it. It's all very, like, jingly. Wait, isn't the new map supposed to have come out already? I gave up tr trying to figure out when that's going to come out. thought it was May, then it was June, maybe? Yep. Uh, Paul 56, yeah. Yeah, they have events. Um, they have events at Christmas. And... I think October they had one, like for a Halloween. The Christmas one is like trees and stuff, they Christmas trees and presents. Like monkey, how you doing? I bet you this is a single boss map. Oh, I'm wrong. It is nighttime though. Hemlock and hide. Okay, dokie. Or you can get poison and leather. <laughs> Lots of people quitting now because it's night time. Oh. These vintage needles are properly scary. Look how dirty they are. Look at the rust on it. Would you put that in your hand in your body? I don't think I would. No. Oh my god, come on, game. I oh know, right? <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, grenade. I got dynamite. Woo! Looks like a waxed one. Prison Northwest. Okay. Trite. White foot worth game. Oh. I think I just heard crows. Okay. Northeast, maybe. Just seeing if I could see the crows. It is stupidly dark. Yep. Don't have to go back to work until Tuesday. Nice. 
What? You see a dodge of that then? I actually went to punch. She went. <laughs> Xboxer. That's what it is. right now. Uh, it's out to lumber then. Yep. Orlando, welcome. Shot my weapon, yeah. They're annoying. Yep. <laughs> it's quite funny, Captain Flint. Like Alex, wouldn't play this game initially because of the giant spider. It terrified him. It took him quite a while to get past it. Have you got a sticky? Yeah. Zero hit points, and it's like, oh, I'll just keep running around and have a, another go at this.
I need to buy a break after this game. <laughs> no worries. So extract's gonna be wet. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can't wait for the new map. You know, I was thinking the other day, as well as a new map, I'd kind of like to add... I'd, I'd like it if they added another kind of NPC. Maybe two, and then, like, rotate them a bit, so that on some maps you, you don't get... I don't know. You don't get hives, you get something else. Just to get a bit of um, variation. Well, they've got, like, if you think about the game mechanics, they have, like, poison and bleeding and fire. And they're the three things that most of the NPCs will do to you, as well as damage you. They might apply a poison or they'll apply a fire to you. Or probably bleed on you. I think they need some other mechanic. Like maybe... I don't know. Is that you moving around? Yeah, I'm just checking north. I can't see anyone. I'd also like them to change the flashbang. Because the flashbang is just stupid. Like, the flashbang, just your screen goes entirely 100% white and just stays there and then goes off. And it's just... Compared to all the flashbangs in other games, it's done pretty badly. That's north-ish. Uh, what? Is east it? to east. Okay. How far? About 50 meters. So we're going to fight more track west. Uh, let's go west and fight him if we need to. I see. Him. Oh my god, he was in the house. Literally, also saw he's got a scoped rifle. Just saw a flash. Get ready to walk backwards and jump yeah. down. Yeah. That orange thing was nowhere near where he He just camped in the uh, house. Yeah, that pushed him. Yeah, they're kind of inside. Yeah, let's fall back over here, dude. We'll go through this gate and shut the gate behind us. Yep, yep. Oh, God. I'm going to get killed now. We have some more health ones, thanks. <laughs> I'm up to heal. Yeah, no worries. I'll watch. That's really weird because when I scanned where it said they were, I was looking down because it was ground level. Yeah. And then they, I just got a flash from up in the house window. But really? Poor info. Lead him through here, this is kicking off. You alright, dude? Yeah, I just can't see a thing. Why? Because I'm poisoned twice. I don't think they're following.
I get back here, dude. Don't fight me. Though. Out of the way. You can be seen way too easily, though. Okay, that guy's crying because you left him. <laughs> I smacked him and he got stuck between uh, the tree and a log. Clear on scan. Countdown starting. Yeah, that was duff intel. Yeah, like, I was going to say, when I scanned, it looked like they was in the building we just left. The fir very first scan I did when you said the east, I scanned to see where they were. And then I saw, like, the two things on the ground. So I was looking for the guy up here near the wall. The next thing I saw flashing the window upstairs. Yeah, that's weird. That guy's scope, though, was, like, as long as a brush. It was ridiculous. He's brave taking that in in a nightmare. Normally Dude, you can't see anything. Yeah, it's like the worst weapon in a nightmare. A nightmare. You got your daughter with you, Bowsley. Nice. How old is she? I don't sound ambidextrous yet. This match is going well. Yeah, I think we lost. How many have we lost? One? Yep. I think we've only lost one. To buy a break, dude. Nice. Better bank.
Pas va. Collect 20 clues of the butcher. 12 of 20 of them. Nice. 25 blood buns I don't need. Woo. Hey, a Trucker J, it's probably, um, you might be able to buy it on Steam or just at least listen to it on YouTube or something. Like music from the game, they quite often sell as a DLC or something. You should listen to the Christmas variant. It's weird. There's, I think, what was that variant where the main menu music was either faster or slower and it kept freaking us out because it sounded wrong? Oh, nice, Jones. Oh, that was the U one on YouTube, wasn't it? And if you played it at two times speed, it would be a completely different song. Yeah. I like the Christmas one. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I like that Christmas one. Ho, 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 ho. Daytime, two bosses, no butcher. We got this. Wow, I've got blood on my hands already. What's been going on? What have you been doing, Paul? That, I've been in a cage fight, mate. That's what it is. Did you win? Though? That's the question. Oh yeah, that's why I'm here. The other guys are nice. mess. PC Gaming, how are you doing? Do you need ammo, Paul? That's fine, this is going off these cup boards. I got 34 rounds, I ain't sure. I wonder if there's a special ammo box in here. I don't have special. I do. I'm not special I... like you, mate. I took fire ammo in my pistol just because I can't be asked to deal with armored dudes. Oh, you're being fuses? Cheap. That's true. And at night time, you can blind people. Oh, I thought you were all dead. Dodging it, dude. That sounds close northwest. I think it's the other boss. your gun if you want. I 
some shit. Save using a med kit. Always kept in Flint. Always got the best time. Somebody's there. The cross has okay. moved. Do you they're shooting it? I think that's. Oh. I would say. Let's go up this eight. ramp and get in. Better players on pink, players on pink. Okay. I'm guessing there's a team up there. Don't see these other players you might do. What's, a, uh, the, what's behind here? Somebody died. Still want to see him. Someone else just died. No. Oh, just there, though. Oh. I'm a bit worried about the one you saw down now. Yeah, he was here. I don't know where he's gone. They're not pushing the spider. The... They must be alert to the fact there's somebody here. Somebody? I think I heard somebody sprinting. Okay. Well. Okay. Somebody show about. Yeah, I think they're southeast on the other side. That's fine. If you make footsteps, you'll alert them. I'm saying crouched. Crow's going up. Okay. I hear running. Yeah. They just threw something. Yeah. <gasps> I 
dude. One dead. See that one's behind there. Yeah, another one is back there. Yeah, yeah. I got go into his mate's mate. body. Yep. Back here on ping. Tagged him. He's backed off. in there some more. He's throwing, he's throwing. I'm back up. What are you doing? Turn to your left. He's there. He's dead. Nice. Last gust, eh? That's what I use. Is that, that winning? Winfield Swift, yeah. Oh, it's a zombie. Yeah, I was trying to not aggro it in that fight. I like, just peeked out between the trees. I was like, oh, someone's there. Maybe not. <laughs> now, the question is, are they the guys that originally hit? It's white now. Okay. Uh, it's PvP and PvE. It's a mix of both. So primarily it's a PvP game, that's what it's meant to be. There's like 12 of you on the map. In teams of 1, 2 or 3. Um, but within that there's sub goals of I got sticky killing the bosses. The top it. left is two bosses though, you see. So the first boss is here. And we found the clues to get the other boss, which is here. But as you saw then, you might be in the middle of a combat. Yeah, I've got no uh, sticky left. Nice. You might be in the middle of a combat and zombies run over and start punching you or poison you or bleed you or something like that, which changes your on. combat with the player. Or you could use the environment to your advantage, like blow things up. And it's still white. There's a trait in there. Gator legs worth of it. So, like, that oh, zombie's really got, got a butcher's knife, so they'll put a bleed on you if they hit you. And if you don't heal from a bleed, you will just bleed out. Was it already pretty damaged then? Yeah. Three quarters of the way. Nice. There's things like these barrels here, so you can shoot that a few seconds later. So if a player stands near one of them, you could use the environment. Uh, there's things like this, like man traps you can put down. So if you think maybe, maybe you think a player's gonna come through here. I don't know, maybe like round the corner there. Put that down, walk through, get a lot of damage plus a bleed. There's hellhounds, they're pretty uh, annoying. They put bleeds on you when they bite you. And then th these kind of doors here have a, a bar on them which you have to remove. So when the bar's on, you can't get in from this side. But what you can do is like put, put that back and then if you look at it in a particular way you put the bar back on so you can't get in from the outside but you can beat the door down and do that to it and destroy it eventually so basically right now there's um if you look top left there's a spider banishing so when you kill the boss it banishes which basically takes time before you can pick the bounty up um, there's the assassin is 80% banished and the spider that we just kill is 52% banished so when they finish banishing they will pick up the bounty and other players can try and take it off them kill them um, they could extract that's an extraction point and these two are extraction points so they're randomly placed around the edge of the map in each map so when we get our bounty we're going to have to either go here or go here they could get the bounty and come here and have a big bounty fight. 
two extracts west, annoyingly. Yeah. It's it's a pretty good game. There's there's nothing else quite like this game. Um, if you die, then your teammate can revive you, but you'll permanently lose um, a bar of health. And that could either be like a full bar or a half bar, depending on your health bar configuration. Uh, and the only way to get that back is either by killing a boss and banishing it, in which case you get all your bars back, um, or back at the main menu, you can, if your hunter survives and extracts, you can buy the bars back that way with the money that you get by leaving this place. But yeah, if you die, your your character is dead, your hunter is dead, but your teammate can revive you. If you all get killed, you're done. Your hunter's gone forever. You go back to the main menu, roll up a new hunter, go back in. Okay, so this is the bouncer. You pick it up. Bottom Clear left, you get five seconds. You got five seconds of what's called dark sight, um, which you can use to scan. Uh, and it will show other players within about... 50 meters, I think, but it kind of shows roughly where they are. You got five seconds of that. The only way to increase it again is to kill a player and loot his body. And that basically assists you in. Because when you've got the bounty, you're visible on the map. See, if they pick up the bounty, there they are. You see them? It's that lightning bolt there. That's the bounty carrier. So when you pick it up, you appear on the map as a lightning bolt. You got a buddy that plays a lot, never watched him play. It's a tough game to get into. It has a heck of a learning curve, but it does have a lot of um, what they call trials in the game, which are single player things you can do. Like challenges, if you like, but they teach you the mechanics of the game. So they teach you how to deal with a hive or um, how to deal with the butcher or uh, how to deal with a dog or whatever. And they're like challenges the way you run around. For that, you get um, reward points and blood bonds, and it gives you free items and things. So they're worth doing because they teach you the game quite a bit. And then there's the map knowledge. There's two maps at the moment with a third one coming this month, next month. Um, and obviously, map knowledge just takes a lot of time to learn. I'm still discovering places on maps. Headshots are pretty important in this game. Does they do double damage? Still clear. Also, each weapon skills up independently. So, um, you start. Let's say you start with the windfield. As you get kills with the windfield, you get weapon XP that will unlock different variations of the weapon. So it might unlock the rifle with a a blade on it, so you can like melee with the blade, um, or it might unlock a scope. Uh, it will also unlock different ammo types. So you get a lot of variation within each weapon. You can single and dual wield pistols as well. Generally speaking, you take a large weapon and a small weapon into battle. Um, but you can get the Quartermaster ability, which allows you to take like, two mediums. Or is it no, a large and a medium? So yeah. Uh, there's, there's a lot to it, but I mean, I learned a lot of the game by playing it and watching other streamers and asking questions. Um, people like Geef, if you never watch, watch Geef, he's very knowledgeable in the game and he's more than happy to sort of, you see, he plays it a lot more than I do. He's more than, more than happy to teach you um, the mechanics. Unlocks carry over even if you die. Yeah, your weapon, your weapon XP and stuff, ro like literally rolls over. That's not that's that's specific to you, not your hunter. When your hunter dies, your hunter is dead, and anything that they carried is gone. Um, but any XP you got in weapons is kept, or tools as they call it. You got weapons, and then down the bottom they got weapons and tools, and then consumables. So you'll see what happens now when we leave. So I'll I'll come out of this. We'll get some XP, get some money, and you'll see what I do with my hunter. I'll, I'll explain it. So 
So now my hunter levels up. Another successful extraction. It's amazing what happens when Alex isn't here. And then <laughs> he's going to be so annoyed. <laughs> This game's by Crytek. It runs on the Cry Engine. Okay, so you kind of get this mission thing here. You see, this is me. this is me. This is like you as a player. This is your level. You can go all the way up to 100, and then you can prestige if you want to. This is my hunter that's leveling up by skip. So, you get hunt kill hunters, you'll get XP. The clean sweep bonus is because we kill banished and extracted a boss. Uh, we didn't get the grand slam, which is both bosses. And then there's like an extraction. The quicker you extract, the more bonus bounty you get. And then we banished, so we got XP. And then down here, it basically says, this is the XP that we got. This is the money that we got. And this is any kind of blood bonds that we got. Blood bonds are a currency that you can buy, but you can only use them to unlock legendary items which are like nice looking things you can't use it to um to boost anything so if you go to that it gives you a breakdown of you know why you got money and xp and then it'll say oh you've unlocked the wind so i use the windfield and i've unlocked the incendiary ammo for it now so i could um put incendiary ammo in the windfield which is like a special ammo that catches things on fire uh, so you just go here and then you can put that in if you want to Which is good and bad because it, it It sets things on fire, but like it won't penetrate through wooden Things and you get a smaller amount of ammo when you go in um, So now we've got to upgrade so I'm upgrading my my hunter so the first thing I generally do is go to my movement and I pick that up in the game if you remember that trait But I like having Greyhound because you can run a lot longer with Greyhound and personally, I like Lightfoot because it means that you're a lot, lot quieter moving around. And this game is all about sound. Like you will hear players moving, running, jumping, falling. And this really helps reduce the noise. This makes you go through water quicker and this lets you run a lot more. Um, so that's your kind of, and that's not all of them. Then you've got things like, if I look at my weapon. So I've got this weapon here. I could go for either levering which is with a windfield lever action which is a lever action rifle it lets you kind of fire and then go kick, kick, fire kick, kick, fire kick, kick. like that's levering and then you've also got fanning which is for a pistol so you get your pistol and then he goes bang, 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 like literally just hits the hammer constant like bang, bang, bang. you can do really fast damage with that which is why it's worth like seven points because it's pretty good um, or you could take more supportive things such as turn that off. Uh, determination, not determinate, resilience. I like this one. So two points for this. When you die and you get revived, you start with 100 health rather than a tiny amount of health. So I like that just in case I die. And then I'll take fanning. And that's my point spent. Um, that hunter is now 19 out of 50. So that hunter's leveled up to 19. After 25 or above, you can retire the hunter, which basically permanently gets rid of him, but gives you a load of XP for your rank, which is this here. So your player rank. So if you're trying to get to rank 100, you can retire a hunter and, and get a boost, basically. And as you go through your rank, you kind of unlock stuff, unlock weapons and things like that. So if you go back to lobby and then I could recruit another hunter now. So I can recruit any of these and you basically just look at the build on them. You just go, well, there's, there's always a free one. And then there's always like three that cost money. You get one free reshuffle every time you come out of a game, you get a free reshuffle like that, which just completely replaces the hunters. And then you can kind of look at them and say, well, that's $151. You know, I get the Nagon Precision, which is a very good gun. And I also get Resilience, which is, I like the Resilience, so I'll take that. Now the difference with the paid ones is all of this stuff here that you get, you can sell. 
But with the free one, this is all what they call contraband, which is why it has that little sticker on it. You can't sell that stuff. So I could take this and then say, you know what? I'll move that into my inventory, move that into my inventory, and then I'll sell it because I don't want it, for example. Same with the throwing knives. Maybe I don't want them, maybe I don't want them. But I keep that trait. This hunter has that trait. Um, the resilience one, you see. But if you go up here and then search NAG, so we get the Nagon Precision, which is that one. Now that takes a large slot, so I can only put a medium in here. Or is it a small? I can't remember. Is that a large and a medium by default? Pepe. Uh, large and small. Large and small. Yeah. yeah why Have, is you, it got the trait? Have you got the no, trait? No, I don't there? have Quartermaster. Hmm, I don't know. Can I take two of them? Okay, wicked. Oh, yeah. Two. Ah, yeah. Because this is only a medium. You can have a large and a small, or a medium and a medium. So two mediums, or large and small. If you have Quartermaster, you can have large and medium. So I'll take that. I don't have any specialist ammo unlocked for it, but for this one, I... Oh, I thought I did. It must be the other one. Maybe not. So I'm trying to level up the... I'm trying to level up the, uh, the, the duster, which is this thing. Because if I go to store and then tools, there's the duster and the knuckle knife, which is like a duster with a knife on it. You're, you need two and a half thousand XP in the duster. It says here, unlock two thousand with any duster. So I'm trying to get that unlocked. So hence why I'm taking the duster right now, which is this thing. Then you want to first take it like you always want to take one of them. And then personally, I'll take a heavy knife some fuses and then vitality shot stamina shots i really like them and then a sticky bomb because that sticks to things that's it that's my build but there's an absolute ton of variation in the way that you can configure as a hunter which means whenever you come up against another hunter you really don't know <laughs> what kind of build he's got you know he could have a crossbow he could have a scoped sniper rifle he could have dual pistols he could have a shotgun he might have sticky bombs fire bombs just so much kind of variance jack m thank you for three years in total <laughs> you got the pablo clip Stop me if I'm boring you. I think somebody wanted to understand the game, so I was trying to help. Or ask questions. Firefighter, I can't believe you bet win on me. Single boss, what do you want to do? Leave. You leave first so I can hear it. Okay. Go, go, go. Well, I'm waiting for my game. Jeez, hurry up, there. dude. <laughs> oh, I literally had half a second to leave then. Took pups like half an hour just to click leave mission. You went all in. Paid off, man. I, I wouldn't have bat P1 on me. It, I was a bit lucky, to be honest, to get P1. I mean, obviously, I drove well, but I was lucky to get that position because of unfortunate shenanigans in front of me. I stole P2. That was on me. But P1, he, he just got unlucky. Uh, Pups is going in with a 28. Sometimes, Paul, you just got to go with the flow. You lost 59,000 schmackers in your top five bets. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Well, you can always do a bet tomorrow when we do the endurance race. Uh, firefighter, I think the Ferrari's faster than the Chevy. 
I mean, from what I could see on the setups, the Chevy was like on a par with the Ferrari, if I remember, but I found the Chevy very hard to control. Yeah, I think like in race pace, the Ferrari beats it. Like there was four in the race that I did and the Ferraris were just flying past them. Any thoughts what you're doing for the Christmas year? Yep, I'm going to eat turkey. The NI racing, John, the Chevy ain't that heavy. It's quite nice to drive, actually. The Chevy I found was easier than... No, the Chevy... Which one was the one that was tail happy? That was the Chevy. The Chevy was yeah. the most unstable out of the bunch. It also goes on, like, track to track, doesn't it? And the setup. Oh, yeah. Setup makes a huge difference. But I didn't like that Chevy. The Ford was only a bit better. The RSR was stable like the Ferrari, but slow. Yeah. I remember when the Chevy first came into our race, and I raced it a lot. What you got to remember, Trucker J, is um, each car, like, it feeds back through the force feedback differently. For example, the Ferrari feels really heavy on the force feedback. I have to dial it down in the Ferrari compared to when I'm in the RSR. It's weird. I and I don't ever want to drive the full. I should fix that bug. That uh, boss is here. The boss is here. Yep. Was the assassin? Yeah, I'm just gonna blow this one up. No tray. Disappointed. No, I'm just looking for something to hit it with. Got my big knife. You got yours. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Oh, I found I've a mallet. A, yeah, I've got a hammer. See a thing. He's hiding. He's like behind a cloth. Yeah. It's red, it's red, it's red. Okay. Oh. What was that, dude? For the assassin. I literally knew where I was. What the heck? He just stepped out and shot me, and I was like crouch hiding behind a thing? Yeah, I just saw. Wow. I call hacks. How the heck did he know where I even was in that dark room? He just literally went bang. Ow. No, we don't need you, Alex. That was a bit weird, man. Yeah. Like, I stopped bleeding from the assassin, and then the assassin attacked me again. <laughs> I didn't really have the weapons for an indoor combat, to be honest. I still don't like the way I died then. That dude just stepping out and going bang. Yeah. So, yeah, that hunter's now gone, gone. Um, if you look at last match, we hardly got anything for it because we didn't do very much. <laughs> We like 95% kill the boss for him, which is really frustrating. Yep.